Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to morning prayer. Today is a tough topic. It's going to be about loss, loss, grieving, the time, all of that. I woke up this morning. I was in such a good mood, but the spirit said to me, Holy Spirit, mind you, Holy Spirit said to me, you need to talk about loss today. Let's pray about loss, dealing with loss, dealing with losing a loved one, dealing with losing a job, dealing with losing the opportunity, losing your home, losing your mind, losing anything. If you have lived long enough, you will lose something, someone. You will experience someone doing the loss. You, you will see it. You will see it. Basically, you will see it. One of my all-time favorite Bible verses and chapters is in Ecclesiastes 3, a time for everything. It goes over every transition you can think of in life. Dying, living, peaceful, not peaceful, happy, sad, all of the things that we go through as human beings. And then if you skip down into the New Testament, into John 11, Jesus talks about Lazarus. When the death of Lazarus came and how he wept, he wept, he wept with Martha and, and Mary and that whole household about Lazarus because Lazarus was someone he loved. And Jesus was not exempt from losing someone, losing a situation and dealing with hurt. And today's prayer, I just really want to talk about and reflect on losing, losing someone, losing something, all of that. One of the things that I dealt with when I was 14 is a loss, actually a death. There was a young lady, she was 12 years old and she died. She died at a dance competition that I was at. We did not see it coming. I think that's where, it, those are always the ones that when you didn't see it coming, it came out of nowhere. You woke up and now all of a sudden you don't have a mom. Now all of a sudden you don't have a husband. Now all of a sudden you don't have a sister. Now all of a sudden your grandmother's gone. Now all of a sudden you don't have a job. That was what happened when I was 14. And I'll never forget it because I said to myself, she was 12. She was 12. She loved what she did. She danced, she performed, she passed out, and she did not wake up. And unfortunately, her parents were not there to see her before she died. They were driving on their way when they found out that she was in the hospital. And by the time they got there, she was already dead. I have been fortunate right now in this season to not have to bury any of my immediate family, but I know so many people that have buried babies, that have buried grandparents, that have buried aunts, uncles, cousins, nieces, relationships, you know, just all of it, all of it. I have lost so many things and I may not have dealt with death in my immediate family, but I have dealt with loss all throughout my life. And this morning, I just want to pray over anyone that's dealing with loss. And you may be in a season where everything is just going amazing, but there can also come a time, whether you're going through it or you know someone else is going through it, that is dealing with a loss. I remember one of the most painful losses when I lost my best friends with an S. So that means it happened multiple times. In childhood, I lost my best friend to her moving away. You know, I had no control. Her parents were moving. And then I lost the best friend when I was a little older. You know, we, we knew each other in high school and college, but then I realized this wasn't a good opportunity to continue to move on. And then I lost the best friend in a romantic relationship. And that was one of the toughest losses ever because it felt like a death. And I knew I couldn't trust the person anymore, unfortunately. So I know what it means to lose someone. And I want to pray over anyone that is listening right now about loss. And whether you're in that season, you know someone in that season, or you may be preparing for that season. So let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much, first of all, for this day, whether it is morning, noon, or at night. Thank you, Lord, for this person that is listening. God, I lift up right now anyone that is dealing with loss, anyone that is dealing with a tragic loss, anyone that has dealt with things not happening, whether it was a job, whether it was an opportunity, whether it was their home, whether it was their person, whether it was anything, God, even their faith. God, we just lift up any and everyone right now. God, I lift up even right now the parents that I did not get to meet but I saw when I was 14 years old, God, I lift up her family right now. I lift up any family that's ever had to bury 
a loved one, Lord God. I lift up any spouse that had to bury a loved one. I lift up anyone that has had to lose their home, their, their living, God. Any situation that people have dealt with that they did not understand why it happened. They were doing everything right and then life just happened. Lord Jesus, let them not lose their faith when things go away, when things are dawn, dead and gone. God, I just thank you again that they had the opportunity to enjoy this person's life, whether it was a job opportunity, whether it was a romantic situation, whether it was whatever it was that they brought joy into their lives. But God, I also want to thank you for the things that did die that wasn't right for us. We don't praise you enough for the things, the closed doors, the opportunities that needed to die, certain relationships that wasn't good for us. So God, I'm praising you for that right now. I'm praising you for the situations that I had myself into that I had to die every single day I must die of my flesh Lord Jesus I'm praying for the person right now that they die to their flesh every day that they become a new person God let this loss let this grief let this period not not have them bitter not have them isolated God cover them in community Lord Jesus cover them with faith cover them with joy let them know that this may have happened to them but this is not the end God if you woke them up this morning you woke them up this day that that means there is still purpose on their life Lord Jesus help them to understand that help them to live out their purpose God help them to understand that this is not the end this is only 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 a situation that they will have to deal with and lord let testimonies come of the loss let there be testimonies that come out of the grieving help them to help other people grieve whether it was a loved one it was a job anything that they have dealt with help them to understand and lean on other people and then have other people lean on them god we are should not be isolated we should not be alone god God, I thank you for every opportunity that you closed the door on. I thank you for every relationship that wasn't right that I had to walk away from. God, give us the strength to walk away and let go of things that do not serve us any longer. We may want to hold on to things, but we must let them go. God, anybody that is dealing with a loss, a sickness in their body, a sickness in someone's health, God, a divorce, God, a breakup, God, a loss of position, whatever it is, God. Let us always keep our eyes on you. God, it may be difficult, but God, let us never to forget who you are and what you've done. There is more to life. There is still more living to do. If there is breath in your lungs, there is still more purpose. God, let these people not forget. I thank you so much for who you are and everything you've done in our lives. I pray this in Jesus Christ's holy name. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you so much for listening to Morning Prayer. I pray that you are blessed. I pray that no matter what the situation is that you're dealing with, whether loss, whether grieving, and you wonder why, God will bless you. God will protect you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.